So unit 2 is the performance of uh, IC engines. So in this, uh, first we will going to discuss about the performance parameters. So last class we discussed about the performance parameters. The performance parameters are given here. Today we are going to solve some numericals related to this performance parameters. Let us take this problem, a 4 cylinder, 4 stroke engine works on a mean effective pressure of 5 bar and engine speed of 1250 rpm. Find the indicated power developed by the engine if the bore is 100 mm and stroke is 150 mm. For any given problem, first let us write the given data followed by the required data and then do the calculation. When we write the given data, try to use uh, the basic units so that it will be easy to solve the problem without any mistake. First let us start writing the given data. So it is a 4 cylinder engine, so it means the number of cylinders n is equal to 4 and it is a 4 stroke engine. This is very, very important whether it is a 4 stroke or 2 stroke we have to specify it up. Based on through only we have to decide whether we have to go with a speed n by 2 or speed. If it is a 4 stroke engine we have to use n by 2, if it is a 2 stroke engine we have to use n in the indicated power formula. So here it is a 4 stroke engine so we have to use n by 2. Then it is given as mean effective pressure 5 bar. If it is given generally as mean effective pressure, use indicated mean effective pressure. So here it is written as PIM equal to 5 bar. So converting this into basic unit, so we will get 5 into 10 power 5 Pascal. And then it is given as engine speed, so N is equal to 1250 RPM. Then bore, bore is nothing but diameter, so D this is equal to 100 mm, convert into meter. So, we will get 100 into 10 to the power minus 3 meter. And last one is stroke L is equal to 150 mm. Again, convert it into meter. So, we will get 150 into 10 to the power minus 3 meter. Always use the notations. So, it will be easy to use it in the formula. Now, let us write the given data, required data. The required data is indicator power developed IP. This is the consolidated given data and required data. Required. So, your given data is n equal to 4, it is a 4 stroke engine, PIM equal to 5 into 10 to the power 5 Pascal, n equal to 1250 RPM, D equal to 110 to the power minus 3 meter, and L is equal to 150 into 10 to the power minus 3 meter. So, required is indicated power IP. So, this is the formula to calculate IP. So, PLAN into NR n by 2 by 60. Here it is a 4 stroke engine, so we have to strike out n, we have to use n by 2. So the unit is watt, this is the basic unit. Now here a equal to area, which is pi by 4 d square, d is given, substitute here you will get a is equal to this much 0 0.007854 meter square. Now use this IP formula, substitute all the values, we will get IP equal to 24543.69 watt convert into kilowatt always express IP in kilowatt so the final answer will be IP is equal to 24.544 kilowatt let us take the second problem a two stroke cycle IC engine has a mean effective pressure of 8 bar. The speed of the engine is 1200 rpm. The diameter of the piston and stroke are 120 mm and 160 mm respectively. Find the IP developed. The difference between the first problem and this problem is that in the first problem it was four stroke engine, here it is a two stroke engine. And there number of cylinders were given, here it is not given. First write the given data, it is a 2 stroke engine, mean effective pressure, so again it is not given, so we will take it as indicated mean effective pressure, so it is taken 8 bar, converted into basic unit, 8 into 4 5 Pascal, speed, n is equal to 1200 rpm, diameter, d is equal to 120 mm, converted into basic unit, 120 into minus 3 meter, stroke, l equal to 160 mm, again convert this also into meter. 
that is all about the given data. Now, write the required data, it is integrated power develop IP. This is the consolidated data. So, now we are going to solve it up. So, the formula is IP equal to PLAN into NR n by 2 by 60. Here we have to strike it out n by 2 because it is a two stroke engine, we have to use speed n. So, let area is unknown, we will calculate first. And before that, you have to understand that here number of cylinder n is also not given, take n is equal to 1. Now, the area A is equal to 5 by 4 d square, substituting we will get A is equal to 0 0.01131 meter square. Now, use the IP formula, substituting all the values, you will get IP is equal to 28.952.92 watts, convert into kilowatt, it is 28.95 kilowatt. Okay, let us take the next problem, problem number 4, a 4 cylinder, 4 stroke spark ignition engine develops a maximum brake torque of 180 Newton meter at 3200 rpm. Calculate the engine displacement, bore diameter and stroke length. The brake mean effective pressure at a maximum engine torque point is 1150 kilo Pascal. Assume bore diameter is equal to stroke length. Let us write the given data. It is a 4 cylinder engine, so it means number of cylinders n is equal to 4 and it is a 4 stroke engine and the maximum torque developed is T equal to 180 Newton meter. Engine speed n is equal to 3200 rpm. The brake MEP is PBM is equal to 1150 kilo Pascal. Convert this into Pascal, so 1150 into over 3 Pascal. Then bore D is equal to stroke L, that is all about the given data, write the required data, the required data is displacement VD, bore diameter D and stroke length L. This is the consolidated data, N is equal to 4, 4 stroke engine, T is equal to 180 Newton meter, N equal to 3200 rpm, brake mean effective pressure equal to 1115 10 over 3 Pascal, D is equal to L. The record is VD, D and L. First let us find D and L, then we will find out VD. To find out D and L, first we have to use the brake power formula 2 pi nd by 60. From this find out brake power, then use the brake power another formula, brake power is equal to PL an nr by 2 divided by 60. So let us write first, find DL and then VD. Now, BP is equal to 2 pi nt by 60, unit is watts, just substitute all the values, n is given, t is given, so we will get it up, BP is equal to 60,318 watts. Now, use this formula, BP is equal to PL an n r n by 2 by 60, here we have to strike it out n because it is a 4 stroke engine, we have to use n by 2 and then uh, replace l with a d because it is given as d is equal to l and uh, a with a 5 by 4 d square. If you substitute this in, into this equation, the new equation will be b p is equal to p d 5 by 4 d square n into n by 2 by 60. Now, every val all the values are known, substitute we will get a d cube equal to this much. So, if we take the cube root, we will get d is equal to 0 0.085548 meter. Always express in mm, so divided by 1000. So, we will get a d is equal to 85.55 mm. Since l equal to d, so l is also 85.55 mm. Now, diameter is known, length is known. Now, we can find out the displacement volume. The formula to find out the displacement volume is V d is equal to n into pi by 4 d square into L, where n is the number of cylinders. So, here it is a 4. So, substitute all the values, we will get V d is equal to 0 0.001967 meter cube. Usually, displacement volume is expressed in cc. So, we will get the cc value of 1967 for displacement. Okay, let us take the next problem, problem number 4, a 4 cylinder, 
four stroke spark ignition engine develops a maximum brake torque of 180 newton meter at 3200 rpm calculate the engine displacement bore diameter and stroke length the brake mean effective pressure at a maximum engine torque point is 1150 kilopascal assume bore diameter is equal to stroke length let's write the given data it's a four cylinder engine so it means number of cylinders n is equal to four and it's a four stroke engine and the maximum torque developed is t equal to 180 newton meter engine speed n is equal to 3200 rpm the brake mep is p bm is equal to 1150 kilo pascal convert this into pascal so 1150 into 3 pascal then bore d is equal to stroke l that's all about the given data write the required data the required data is displacement vd bore diameter d and stroke length l this is the consolidated data n is equal to 4 four stroke engine t is equal to 180 newton meter n equal to 3200 rpm brake mean effective pressure equal to 1150 10 over 3 pascal d is equal to l the record is vd d and l first let us find d and l then we will find out vd to find out d and l first we have to use the brake power formula 2 pi nd by 60 from this find out brake power then use the brake power another formula brake power is equal to pl an nr by 2 divided by 60 so let us write first find d l and then vd now bp is equal to 2 pi nt by 60 unit is watts just substitute all the values n is given t is given so we will get it up bp is equal to 60318 watts now use this formula bp is equal to pl an n r n by 2 by 60 here we have to strike it out n because it's a four stroke engine we have to use n by 2 and then uh, replace l with a d because it is given as d is equal to l and uh, a with a pi by 4 d square if you substitute these in, into this equation the new equation will be bp is equal to p d pi by 4 d square n into n by 2 by 60 now every all, all the values are known substitute we'll get a d cube equal to this much so if we take the cube root we'll get d is equal to 0.085548 meter always express in mm so divided by 1000 so we'll get a d is equal to 85.55 mm since l equal to d so l is also 85.55 mm now diameter is known length is known now we can find out the displacement volume the formula to find out the displacement volume is vd is equal to n into pi by 4 d square into l where n is the number of cylinders so here it's a 4 so substitute all the values we'll get vd is equal to 0.001967 meter cube usually displacement volume is expressed in cc so we'll get the cc value of 1967 for displacement Let's solve the problem number five. A single cylinder, four-stroke diesel engine, running at 1,800 rpm, has a bore of 85 mm and a stroke of 110 mm. It takes 0.5617 kg of air per minute and develops a brake power output of 6 kW, while the air-fuel ratio is 20 is to 1. The caloric value of fuel is 42,550 kJ per kg, and the ambient air density is 1.18 kg per meter cube calculate the volumetric efficiency and the brake specific fuel consumption let us write the given data it is a single cylinder engine so number of cylinders n is equal to 1 it's a four stroke engine running at 1800 rpm it means engine speed n is equal to 1800 rpm bore d is equal to 85 mm it can be written in meter so convert it So 85 into 10 to the minus 3 meter. Stroke L is equal to 110 mm converted to meter. It's a 110 to the minus 3 meter. 
then it is given as mass flow rate of air so we can say ma which is equal to 0.5617 kg per minute always express in kg per second so divide this by 60 we will get 0 0.009362 as kg per second is a mass flow rate of air then it is given brake power so bp which is equal to 6 kilowatt and then air fuel ratio m of air by m of f equal to 20 is to 1 it means ma is equal to 20 m of caloric value of fuel cv is 45550 kilojoule per kg ambient air density rho a we can take it as 1.18 kg per meter cube what we have to find out we have to find out volumetric efficiency and then brake specific fuel consumption this is the consolidated data so n equal to 1 four stroke engine n is equal to 1800 rpm d is equal to 0 0.085 meter l equal to 0 0.110 meter mass of air 0 0.009362 kg per second bp equal to 6 kilowatt m of a equal to 20 m of f cv 42550 kilojoule per kg rho of air is equal to 1.18 into 1.18 kg per meter cube required volumetric efficiency and bsfc we know the formula for volumetric efficiency this is m of air divided by rho a n into pi v4 d square l into n by 2 by 60 this is why we put n by 2 because it's a four stroke engine so we have to put n by 2 and uh, 60 is for converting speed n in rpm to rps now you know all the data just substitute you will get volumetric efficiency as 0.8473 express in percentage it is 84.73 percent next we have to find out brake specific fuel consumption it is given by mass of fuel divided by brake power always this mass of fuel should be in kg per hour so mf should be in kg per hour so first we have to find out mf we know mass of air it is given so we know the equation mass of fuel equal to mass of air divided by 20 so substituting we get mass of fuel equal to 0 0.00468 kg per second so convert into kg per hour so multiplied by 3600 you will get 1.6851 kg per hour now substitute in the bsfc formula we will get BSFC equal to 0 0.281 kg per kilowatt hour.